Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless module, solid state drive, hard disk drive assembly, right trunk, right support bracket, right fan heat sink assembly, left trunk, left support bracket, and left fan. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all cables for later replacement. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the USB board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the optical drive ZIF connector and disconnect the optical drive ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Remove the 5mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the keyboard hook to the system board and remove the keyboard hook. Remove the two 5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Lift the left side of the system board off of the alignment pins and, at an angle, guide the external connectors on the right side of the system board out of the cutouts in the top cover and remove. <laughs> Replacement. Note, before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Memory modules. Heat sink. Tow the external connectors on the right side of the system board into the cutouts in the top cover and lower it onto the alignment pins. Important, ensure that all cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the two 5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Place the keyboard hook into position on the system board and replace the 5mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Insert the display panel cable into the display panel ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the card reader board ribbon cable into the card reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Connect the speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the keyboard backlight ribbon cable into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the touchpad button board ribbon cable into the touchpad button board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the optical drive ribbon cable into the optical drive ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down 
to lock the cable into place. Insert the USB board ribbon cable into the USB board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Important! After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.